Hi. Um, I just wanted to talk real quick. I'm actually writing a song right now, and uh, I've got this little electronic band in the box that's supposed to accompany you, and I've tried every setting on this thing, and it cannot pick up on the groove, and it's ruining the song for me. Um, and the reason I bring it up is because so much music I'm hearing now seems to be done on computer, and you miss so much of the subtlety of, and the nuance of live playing. Of, of the pulse and, and the things that live players can do. Um, I'm out here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and I play with a couple of guys, Andy and Rick, and, and uh, this little band of box just can't do it. It can't duplicate it, and it ruins it. Um, I don't know why that's gone away, but it has. I remember one of the bands that I used to love that made me start playing guitar was Thin Lizzy. And uh, after the, I didn't care for the, I think the first three albums or so, but then they got a couple of guitar players, um, Scott Gorham and Brian Robertson. And that combination really just, just showed me something. I didn't even know what it, what it was at the time. But I realized after a while, it wasn't that they were playing anything very hard. They weren't. It's just the way they played it. The little space and the little, that little human um, kind of groove that uh, it, it kind of made it all come to life for me, you know? One of the things I noticed about it was the rhythm section would have this pulse to it. And then whenever they would phrase over it, it would do a lead over it, it would be juxtaposed against this rhythm. And it would make these little breaks and spaces pull this phrasing out even more and, and make it so interesting to me. And those leads took you somewhere, somewhere that the vocals couldn't, you know? And I just don't hear that much anymore. I hear everything's just so, uh, so stiff, you know? So it just doesn't, it doesn't have the same life. I'm going to go ahead and play what I, what I was trying to write, and I'm going to play it without this accompaniment. And then I'm going to show you the closest thing I could get to it. And uh, hopefully you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. But the rhythm uh, that I've got going on is pretty simple. I'll pull the guitar up so you can see it's just... kind of over and over. Um, this is as close as I can get to it. Nothing, nothing like it. The drums won't groove, they won't swing with it. The bass is stiff. Um, and I, I just can't, it's ruining the song. So uh, please go support live music because I miss it. I hope it comes back.